Hey beauties, it's Riri. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing my little Sephora VIB sale haul and then I'm going to hop over to some recommendations for you guys. Um, unfortunately I'm very under the weather so I'm not going to be testing anything out but I will do a video with everything showcasing it all so I do apologize for that. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive in very quickly. If you're unfamiliar with the Sephora VIB sale, this is a sale that they do two times a year. And you can go in, it is free to sign up, it is free to become a member. And you can go in and shop for a discount. I am a Rouge member so I do receive 20% off. And then all of the Sephora collection is 30% off. Then there's a 10% off tier and then a 15% off tier. First up, I got the um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is in the shade 2 or medium. I'm hoping this shade works for me. Um, the airbrush powder that I will be talking about in my recommendations, I use shade 2, so I'm hoping it'll work. I do want to open it and see what it looks like. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, <laughs> so hopefully I like it. And the compact and everything... Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. I'm so excited about this. And if you've tried any of these products, please let me know. Also, if you have any recommendations, please let me know that as well. I think this is going to work, and I'm so excited. I'm even more excited now that I'm seeing it in person. But I want this to also be something where you all put your recommendations down below. We still have a couple of days left. Um, I'm filming this on Saturday, the day you'll see this. So the Sephora sale is still on until the 6th. So... If you have recommendations, I can make another purchase. And I'm lucky enough that I have a Sephora card so I can go in and shop a couple times a year um, and use my card and get the discount, so yeah. Next up is the Kosas Most Wanted Lipstick Set. And it's a shade of three of their most wanted lipsticks. Clean, comfy, satiny, smooth. Um, these obsession-worthy colors bring instant life to your look. And there's fantasy life, high cut, and turned on. I really think that Sephora does gift sets or gift collections very well. Like there's a few that I still have in my cart that I'm thinking about getting. <laughs> Next up is a product I have heard a lot of people talk about. And if it is as good as everybody says, then it may overtake my Charlotte Silvery one. But it's the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. Clean, hydrating, and long wearing makeup spray. So incredibly excited about this as well. Next up, I got the Give by Gwen Stefani Check My Glow Multi-Dimensional Illuminating Highlighter. And I got the shade Platinum Cowgirl. I have tried her lipsticks and I am a huge fan. I think they are beautiful. Wow, that is bigger than I thought it was going to be. And that is what it looks like. Oh, it's so beautiful. I guess I could swatch it for y'all. I most likely would kind of swirl it all together, but I'm assuming obviously you could try to get in there with a smaller brush and then get one shade at a time. So that looks really, really beautiful. It feels super creamy. It doesn't seem super, super intense, so we'll see. Excited though. <laughs> Next up, I got a lot of highlighters, I'm just realizing, looking in here. This, um, this is the Danessa Myricks Beauty, the Lightwork Volume 1 highlighting palettes. First off, oh my gosh, the packaging on this, it feels like a brick. I could hurt somebody with this. <laughs> and that is the back. Oh my gosh. Nice, large, substantial mirror. It does have protective padding over it. Oh, that is nice. That is beautiful. Now, obviously, I might not be able to use every single shade as highlighter shades, but I can go and use them as blush toppers, bronzer toppers. I do want to swatch just a couple. Whoa, those feel incredibly smooth. Super excited to test this out as well. Um, I got another highlighter. <laughs> Did I need more? No. This is the Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder. This is in the colorway Pink Glow. And oddly enough, obviously I purchased this before making my Ipsy Icon box choices, but I'm getting the full size of this exact thing in my Icon box. So um, I will most likely keep this one. Oh, that's so pretty. I'll most likely keep this one just because, you know, it's going to last forever. <laughs> and I'll probably like sell the other one. Oh, this is that beautiful. It feels like, like kind of like the baked gel type of formula. 
it feels like the Emerizy highlighter or if you're familiar with like Hourglass it feels very much like that oh okay so excited for that I've actually wanted to try this for a very long time, so I'm glad I finally have it. <laughs> Next up is another product that I've heard people rave about. It is the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer. I did get the mini, um, and I'm pretty sure that I got both of these together as like a little kit with the spray and the primer. So I'm very excited to test this out as well. Next up, I got another mini. I'd like to try minis or gift sets because then I feel like I get more value for my buck and or if I don't like something, I didn't spend full price on it. Um, this is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. I did try the regular silk canvas when it first came out. It was expensive and I hated it. So I ended up getting rid of it. So I'm hoping that I like this better. Um, it was a texture thing for me and a scent thing for me. So I'm gonna see. Let me know if this has kind of that same fragrance and then I honestly just won't even use this. Next up, something else I'm so incredibly thrilled to try because his blushes are fantastic. This is the Patrick Ta um, Major Holiday Plumping Gloss. I did get the limited edition holiday shade in headliner. It looked so incredibly beautiful. Like the packaging and everything looks so beautiful. Next up is the Kosas Brow Pop Nano. This is the ultra fine detailing brow pencil. I did get the shade dark brown. And I have a lot of Kosas products and I am a huge, huge fan. And y'all know I ain't got no brows. <laughs> so if I can get a brow product that works really great, I'm excited about it. And this is supposed to be incredibly, incredibly fine. Oh, that packaging, beautiful packaging. And yes, it is incredibly, incredibly fine. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about all of it, you guys. <laughs> I did not pick up any foundations. If you guys can give me a recommendation for a foundation you really, really love. Um, like I said, I have a couple things left in my cart, like smaller items. So let me know. I may do a foundation as well. And then I'll come back and do like a full face of all my Sephora sale items. Y'all let me know. And then last but not least, very excited about this as well. This is the Sol de Janeiro, the Cherosa Travel Perfume Set. Um, and that has four different perfumes in it. It has the Rio Radiance, the Brazilian Crush, the Brazilian Crush Cherosa 68, and then the Brazilian Crush Cherosa 62. So incredibly excited about this. I'm not gonna take this out just yet. Again, I'm not gonna be able to really smell them. So <laughs> I'm really sorry about that part. So that is my haul portion. And then very quickly, I'm gonna have all this linked down below. This is gonna be basically a very rushed, quick, you know, speed review, if you will, of some of my top favorite products. Um, and then of course I have things like the Super Goop Glow Screen, all time favorite type of product, things like that. But first up is the Dior Backstage Glow. This is the Glow Face Palette and I have 002 Glitz. This to me has that same texture as that Bobbi Brown one. Um, I love the finish of this so, so much. It looks incredible on my skin. I do have very dry textured skin and it applies just glass-like. It's so incredibly beautiful. And I think this is a wonderful opportunity, like if you're somebody like me that I don't always buy super expensive makeup. Um, and when I do, I try to get, you know, on sale, I try to use points, discount codes, coupons, stuff like that. So I know that this is pricey, but to be able to get 10, 15 or 20% off even, I think it's a great value. I love it. It's very long lasting on the skin and it's just, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Next up, I will talk about these two together. This is the Westman Atelier Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. This is my favorite contour ever, 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 ever. It is a true cool tone contour that is perfect for like fair light-ish skin. Um, I think it's absolutely stunning. It's quite creamy, but it has this beautiful kind of velvet-like texture. And as it dries, and you can shear it out too, you can kind of shear it out if you have very fair skin or build it up just a little bit. As it dries, it sets down to like a beautiful soft velvety matte finish. So incredibly stunning. Does not emphasize texture or anything like that and it is bulletproof. It lasts forever on the skin. Next up going kind of along the same lines is the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. 
and this one is in the shade happy soul like soul like sun this one is a little bit more cool tone as well not quite as cool tone as the westman atelier one is this one's a little bit more creamy for me maybe not quite as long lasting and obviously not quite as cool tone but if you're looking for contours and you do have you know like my skin tone i think you would love either of these next up i'll talk about the products that are on my lips right now i am wearing the huda beauty lip contour pencil shade uh in 2.0 shade honey beige I actually got this in my boxy charm it is fantastic um it doesn't say super pointy that doesn't bother me it's literally like my lips but better it is the exact shade pretty much as my lips and i like that this has a little bit of grip to it it's soft and it's creamy but it also has some texture it has it's not going to fall off of your lips in two seconds like it has a little bit of grippiness but not so much that it's pulling and tugging on the lips it is perfection. It's long wearing. I love it. Next up is the Summer Fridays, the Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. And I like that it's a little bit luminous, slightly glossy. It has a little bit of grip and hold to it, but it's not sticky, um, which I love. It smells delicious. It smells like baked goods. It has a beautiful mid-density type of texture, as you can see it coming up. But it's thick enough that it offers a little bit of hold. It's just, it's great. And it smells so yummy. It's super hydrating, super nourishing on the lips. And it pairs so great with this. So I love it. Next up, um, I've gone through multiples of these. I have raved about this for a very long time, ever since it came out. It's the Tower 28 SOS Rescue Spray. If you have dry skin, if you have rosacea, like my... Well, I have no makeup on today, so y'all get rosacea re today in full effect. But if you have dryness, if you have redness, if you have very sensitive skin, this is fantastic. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup at all, it's great. It's just a skincare type of item. It definitely helps with my redness and it helps with my redness and stuff like that. It offers a great level of hydration to the complexion. I love this. I also have a mini. This one is empty and then I'm going to end up refilling this. I have a mini in my overnight bag. It's fantastic. It's definitely a holy grail product. Next up is the Danessa Myricks Beauty Blurring Balm. This is in the shade Rosé in Brunch. Um, packaging 10 out of 10 really love it I love the shade of this and I love the texture of this this is another product that kind of goes on as a cream and almost kind of instantly as you're blending it out it becomes this beautiful soft kind of velvet matte like type of formula oh it's so beautiful um, blurring on the skin I don't feel like it emphasizes texture or anything like that and incredibly long wearing highly highly recommend this product next up I'll talk about a couple of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products this is the airbrush flawless powder in the shade 2 or medium and it's basically gone <laughs> and I do have a small like a mini one of this I do like that as well that in a lot of her products because it is more luxe more expensive they offer minis like the sprays so love this it's beautiful on the skin I am somebody that um, I don't use a whole lot of powder and I don't use it very often but if I do it's this or my Dominique cosmetics or my Fenty powder this is fantastic it does not emphasize texture it's not so matte that it over dries the skin or makes you look you know cakey or anything like that it's so beautiful you guys so beautiful and then the airbrush flawless setting spray i got the little mini duo last year they're also offering that again this year so you can test it out it is beautiful you guys the mister on this is fantastic it's a super fine mist but a wide spray radius which i love and i do genuinely feel like it brings my makeup back to life. It makes everything look hydrated and yummy on the skin. And I do feel like I notice a difference with my makeup long wearability with this. So I think the two pack, in my personal opinion, is the way to go. I love this so much. Next up is a product that um, <laughs> I just panned this one. I'm almost done panning the one that is in my purse. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. Not only does it plump, and it's an intense plump. So if you do not like that, this is not for you. You will feel it you will feel the burn honey okay um but I love that it gives a little flush of color it plumps and stuff like that but the plump stays for a quite a long time it stays on my lips and my lips stay hydrated I have tried plumpers in the past that they work for five seconds and then I don't feel it I don't see it I don't notice it after you know a few minutes and my lips get dried out so this does not do that I absolutely love it I 
cannot rave enough about it. Next up is a product that I also got in my BoxyCharm. It's the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. I have the shade Banana. They do offer three different shades in this. And as you can see, I've used it a ton. This is incredibly bright brightening. If you have darkness and sallowness or anything like that, like I do right now, <laughs> it's beautiful. It is a um, kind of thicker, more dense texture. It's almost kind of like a cream concealer type of, of consistency. But I feel like it works beautifully. And I didn't really notice it in my try-on when I was kind of doing it because I'm in front of lights. When I watched it back and then when you guys watched it, you were like, oh, you can see the difference. It's beautiful. Um, highly recommend. Next up, I'll talk about the Benefit Fan Fest Mascara. This has been a current favorite. When they say fan effect, that is what you get. I love the wand. It is incredibly black, incredibly long wearing. It does not flake on me. And I genuinely get that beautiful kind of uplifted curled fan effect. I love it. Absolutely love it. And it also comes in a mini. I like that. I like when a brand offers minis because then I can try something and not spend a ton of money. <laughs> Next up is one of my all-time favorites and it is almost panned as well. This is the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick. This is the shade Cheesecake. And as you can see, I'm down to the last itty bitty 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 teeny tiniest little amount of it. This is one of my all-time favorite foundation sticks. Um, I don't like a lot of foundation sticks. I feel like they... Are a little bit too drying they're hard to blend out and this is not this is fantastic it sets on my skin well it lasts all day on my skin the coverage is beautiful it's slightly matte but it's a velvet matte it's a soft finished matte it's not a you know super heavy cakey or drying type of matte formulation i love this i also think if you have oily or dry skin you would love this next up is another one that i have repurchased and i really love it i actually got a sample of this with a sephora purchase a long time ago and i fell in in love with it. It is the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum and it looks stunning. This I will try because I don't have to actually touch my skin with it. But it is a beautiful kind of gel formula. Quite hydrating on the skin. I almost feel like it gives a slight cooling effect as well and I will use this as skincare and as a primer. But it is quite glowy, quite luminous, but it also dries down and it doesn't have any stickiness or any tack or anything like that. It has a beautiful level of slip to it, but when it dries down in place, I mean, it just, it looks so incredibly beautiful, you guys, and it sits very beautifully under makeup. I love this product so, so much. Next up is the KVD Good Apple um, Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. This is medium 033. I'm trying to hurry up and finish this up while I still have a tan, but I don't know if I'm going to use it up by that time but as you can see it is also almost gone and this is a perfect full coverage foundation that's gonna stay in place I say less is more if you have drier textured or mature skin like myself but it's not thick and heavy and you don't feel it on the skin I use just a tiny tiny little bit of it I really try to make sure that I'm well hydrated and everything prior to this but it is bulletproof very long lasting it looks stunning on the skin it blurs the skin I think it's a beautiful beautiful product I'm sad that I'm probably gonna have to throw this away because I'm not gonna end up using it in time but it's it's perfection I love it and then last but not least <laughs> I'll talk about some Fenty products. Um, I feel like as a whole speaking with skin complexion, color complexion, everything, I feel like Fenty Beauty is one of my all time top, 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 top tier favorite brands. They just, she can do no wrong. Riri can do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, first up is the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. I specifically bought it to wear more of like as an eyeshadow topper. It almost feels like a gel type formula if you will it's like very gel like very serum like um it can be a little too much and a little too sparkly as a highlighter unless i barely tap it onto my skin with my fingers but putting this over your eyes over any eyeshadow or by itself or do a little contour color in your crease and then put this all over the lids gorgeous and if you're using it solely for that, literally this is going to last me a lifetime. But it is absolutely stunning. I love it. The texture of it, the finish of it is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. 
Next up is the other foundation stick that I was talking about. I feel like maybe this doesn't wear quite as long as the Huda Beauty one does, but if you are especially a dry skin babe and you're looking for a foundation stick, I'm just going to get really, really up close. You don't get a whole lot of product in this. I am going to note that. Um, but I've used this since summertime, since I got it. It is, I mean, as slippy and as creamy as you could possibly be with a foundation stick, that is this stick. But it also blends out so incredibly well. And it offers a level of not necessarily glow, but there's a, a slight sheeniness to it. Not heavy, not oily looking or anything like that. Not like greasy looking or anything. Um, again, I cannot attest to, you know, with oily skin because I find even for myself sometimes that if I don't set or prep well that it doesn't last as long on the skin. But if you are a dry skin babe and you are looking for a foundation stick that is medium coverage, glides on like literally like butter. They should have called this the butter stick. Um, glides on like butter. It wears well overall <laughs> um it's just beautiful it's it's beautiful on the skin i love it next up is one of my all-time favorites and a repurchase for me is the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte this is in the shade 210 um love the packaging this is my go-to for like the summertime months this and this pretty much because yes it's matte but soft matte is perfect for it it's a very soft velvety finish to the skin it's medium you can build it up medium coverage up um and it just it lasts well it looks beautiful but because i do have dry skin i have to be very cautious about using mattifying products um but it's very skin like it's it's stunning and it is bulletproof also and it gets crazy hot here and crazy muggy here i'm running out of breath and my chest is dying so let me do the last product <laughs> last up is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Um, I've said before, which I have repurchased this, and I have the dual of this in my cart right now. Um, I have a love, hate, love, love, hate, hate relationship with this mascara. I love the wand. It's incredibly black. It is incredibly thickening, volumizing, and stuff like that. But it is messy as hell. Every single time I have used this, y'all, every time. <laughs> it goes everywhere it'll flake and stuff like that. Now, once it's on and once I've kind of cleaned up everything, it stays in place all day. So I love it. I've repurchased it. I'm probably going to also get the little duo. That's a really good place to start. The duo is like 26 bucks plus 20% off. So um, I highly recommend it. I'm just giving you a word of caution that it can be a little bit messy um, and you can get carried away very quickly. So that is everything. Um, I like how short and sweet turned into 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, I'd love foundation recommendations. Um, I am somebody that likes more light coverage, light to medium coverage. I also really like tints, um, but I do have rosacea. I have very sensitive skin and I have very dry reactive skin. So what are your recommendations while the sale is going on? Are any of these your favorites? Are you picking any of these up or have you already picked something up? Comment down below. Let's have that conversation. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.